Hello friends, continuing with uh, our SSS tutorial videos, uh, we had seen currency conversions and the various ways to do that. Now we move on to language translation and, and, and we'll see how we can convert uh, from one language to another uh, and how Business Intelligence Development Studio is going to help us do that. By default, uh, so far in our, in our uh, cube development, we have been using English as the native language and uh, but if you if you go ahead and see your cube in the browser, what you have is, is a lot of different languages uh, which are out there for us uh, and, and conversions. So basically the idea is when the cube is being accessed across the globe uh, by different locales for, for, for analytics purposes, it is quite implicate that uh, a business intelligence uh, allows us development I mean Microsoft allows us to switch from one language to another so that it is readable and inferable to the people uh, accessing it from different uh, local regions to do so uh, let's see how uh, BI is going to help us do that and we'll, we'll take a small demonstration and pick them uh, how the language conversion occurs so I am not a, a master in all the different languages so I pick Spanish uh, as of now and, and let's try to convert uh, for example, let's try to convert dim date uh, and, and the different date captions from English to Spanish uh, and that would be a demo uh, video uh, for this for this session. So what I start is uh, what I start by doing is I, I pick the dim date uh, dimension here and uh, I straight away go and hit the translation tab. So currently just to re Capitulate what we have here is we have calendar fiscals and and days which are accessible uh, and, and on which we can actually so if you see uh, the days are, are the different days of the week uh, and then we have fiscal and calendars which allows us to browse uh, this dimension on so these are the three different settings that we have on the current uh, dimension now straight away move we move on the third tab which will help us translate this uh, and we go ahead on the translation tab so looking at the translation tab we see a lot of captions here and uh, we see the default language and, and, and the way uh, and the data has been de displayed in the default language so what we have to do is we are attempt attempting to convert this into Spanish I say a new translation and I pick uh, I simply go ahead and pick Spa Spanish from Spain and what you get is another tab, uh, another attribute that has been added here, uh, which is called Spanish Spain. So what you got to do is you got to feed. So for dim date, what caption would would qualify uh, to Spanish Spain? So uh, for dim date, let me call it dia for day as well. I call it. And, and since it's an, it's an accessible, you, what you see is uh, you click on this ellipsis and you get to choose the date na day name. So I call this as Spanish day of the week. Right then. Uh, and then I move on to fiscal. Uh, so for fiscal, it's called, you know, and for f likewise for fiscal year, it's called, you know, fiscal and similarly. for quarter is called trimester for month it's mess the again the we call that calendar calendario So what we are going, what we are doing is we are simply feeding here uh, the caption values for the language Spanish, and uh, this this is not a much of an uh, intelligence business intelligence involved here. Uh, the only business intelligence is actually we are just allowing what you see here. What we did is uh, for the days uh, we are picking the month uh, Spanish day name of the week. 
uh, which is already present in your dim dates table so that's what it is so 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 that's the dimension uh, modeling uh, i mean the translation of the dimension here and 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 then uh, so so if you look at there's not not much of a uh, of a translation on its own it's more of uh, it's less of business intelligence uh, more of data availability so if you have them if you have the uh, the spanish uh, qualifier in your table present it's going to pick that up and populate the same uh, now let me process the queue quickly and uh, done that now straight away let's also process our uh, cube after the dimension and yep we're done now if I reconnect uh, let me pull out the sales amount and maybe the order quantity quickly and let's call it from the region and then maybe fiscal so currently if you see it's displaying it as fiscal year and uh, and likewise uh, so for fiscal year once we move ahead it's fiscal semester and it's fiscal quarter uh, if I were and the language from the drop down is default now if I were to go down and simply choose uh, Spanish it, it goes ahead with the current cap uh, with the respective uh, Spanish captions out here so that's uh, for the Spanish part uh, and if I were to again clear the results maybe quickly uh, get the sales amount or a quantity and also again the region maybe and calendar years if I were to put it it is giving you the respective semester uh, I mean calendar semester and calendar year and and the quarters so it's it's the respective name uh, now if I were to also add let me remove this remove field and remove field now if I were to do my analysis on the days uh, to see if how many how many uh, what was the sales so it is this is here uh, this here is the day names so if I were to analyze on the weekends what were the sales on the weekends that's on Saturday and Sundays I pick Saturday and Sunday those are the respective Spanish names of Saturday Sunday and I get the analysis uh, so to switch to default again that's your Saturday's uh, Saturday and Sunday sales amount so that was the language translation for you quick uh, quick re recap not much of a business intelligence out there is more to do with uh, the uh, values in your table if you have it out there in the table you can easily do so and, and the captions are more or less hard coded out there uh, and and that's that's quick easy and simple not uh, not too uh, much of a business intelligence involved out there uh, and i hope uh, you have made something out of this video thank you so much